I'm not a risk taker at all. I'm like still shocked that I went. Oh, that he was wearing a Patrick Swayze shirt. I was like, yeah, I'll jump out of the plane with you. What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Manders and this is my channel. We talk about makeup, skincare, sometimes some unboxings. I Sometimes I cook and I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in any of those things, make sure you stick around, bring that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know that you like it and leave me a comment down below if you want. So today we're just gonna do really quick kind of get ready with me. I'm gonna sort of chat about some stuff. I did already put my foundation on. I used my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 122, very small amount. I also used my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 22. And I'm and I set my face using my Kat Von D shade plus light contour palette. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'm just gonna talk about some stuff. So how is everybody? How are you doing? Um I went skydiving. I've already uploaded that video. So by the time that this one will be up, cause I'm gonna edit it right after this. And it was so fun. It was different than what I was expecting, to be honest. Um, I'm using my Alamar. This is my bronzing brush. This is a new favorite. So I'm just gonna, so I went, I went skydiving and it was not what I was expecting. It was, so fun like it really was fun I um I was able to go at the same time as my husband okay I want to give a little background information too as to why I just all of a sudden went skydiving um so my husband has been doing his skydiving a skydiving course because he's going to be able to jump out of airplanes on his own so he was doing his sixth jump that day and he, I was there with him we stayed over in the tent we stayed over at the airfield in the tent the night before so that he could get up super early and go jump, which I was perfectly fine with. And he was like, well, since you're here, because I'd always said I'd go jump once. And he was like, well, since you're here, maybe we could just do it this time. And I was like, no, <laughs> like actually like my first reaction when that was his suggestion on the Thursday night was no. I was like, I really don't think I'm ready. Like I was like, I don't think I'm ready. I, I can be honest about that. And then we talked about it and he was like, okay, so why do you think you're not ready? And we talked about it and I had like, I, start, I cried and I still don't know why I was so upset either. I was just, I think I was just emotional because I was like, well, what if something happened? Like, I, I do have to take this seriously. Um, and my family didn't really like the idea that I was going to do it. They don't love the idea that he does it. It's He's very safe when he does it. That's why I will say one thing about skydiving. Spending a day on an airfield with that many people that do that for a living make it seem a lot less scary. So if you've ever wondered what skydiving is like, go hang out at a skydiving center for a couple hours and you'll be like, wait a second. These people are just like, everyone's really chill. I did meditate for the whole ride up um it was about a 20 minute ride up in the plane i did do a tandem jump so i was attached to somebody with the nickname bodhi if you've seen point break you will know that that was patrick Swayze's character that is my stepson's name he was named after that movie and he was wearing a patrick Swayze t-shirt um if you haven't already seen that video i will have linked it up here somewhere uh yeah it was just very but he was wearing a patrick Swayze shirt i was like yeah i'll jump out of the plane with you and I was surprisingly calm for the plane ride up. I was surprisingly calm for the jump. I really, the part I disliked the most was the like, actually like the canopy ride down because it was a lot more uncomfortable than I was anticipating. And my ears, when, you, when you're in free fall, it's very loud, so it's like And as soon as you pull the, like when you pull the canopy, it's kind of like you're like jolted and everything goes silent. And then my ears popped and my ears still feel weird. I love this brush so much. I don't know if this looks as good as it does on camera. In like I'm, it's looking good. I'm using my New York color bronzer. This is like an OG favorite of mine. I don't use it all the time, but I like it. It's a good, it's a good one. So yeah, skydiving. Friggin' proud of myself, man. Like my husband was proud of me. And that's the other thing. He was on the plane with me. He was doing his solo jump and he had one instructor with him. So he waited to do that jump until they could get me on the plane at the same time. 
and so he was right beside me the whole plane ride up which really did help make me calm I'm pretty sure I would have freaked out like lost my mind had I been on that plane alone and our friend Scott was on the plane too that also gave me a little bit of peace of mind knowing who was behind me like it just and there were you, they put 12 of you on and everybody has to be in masks um because we're inside an airplane and we all they follow the rules and regulations really well it was just really interesting so it, I'm like still shocked that I went I'm going to use this blush by Shayna B. This is Bellini. I like this. And I'm going to use the... I'm going to use this brush. I have not used this. It's called the Complexion Brush from Alomar, but I'm going to use it for blush. That's it right there. I really love the color of this blush. It's very, like, peachy. Let's get, make sure it's on there. It's a very nice blush. I got this in an Ipsy. I need a mirror. Oh, I don't have a mirror. I do. This has a little teeny tiny half mirror. That's my mirror. So yeah, I seriously like I'm just I'm so impressed with myself. And it, it's it's really it was a really interesting experience. Um, Pat's still doing his jumps. He's only done six out of his 10. So he has four more jumps. So we're hoping that he can get the next four jumps in on Thursday and Friday of this week. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna do the same thing over. I'm not going to jump this week, but I'll be there with him. I'm, I'm really proud of him. It's a very, it's a, I don't think I could do, take the dedication to do it. So, cause it's a lot of work. And it's not just like, hey, let's just jump out of this airplane. It's like, there's like a body position you have to hold and it's like, it's a lot. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild. Sorry if my lighting is a little off. I'm using my natural lighting and it's kind of cloudy right now, so. Sorry. Yeah. But it was just like the experience. I'm so glad I did it. Like, I'm so glad I did it. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm still kind of in awe that I did it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself because that was a really hard thing for me to want to do because I do, I am a not a risk taker at all. Like at all. Oh my goodness. I love this highlight. I'm doing my makeup right now. Actually, it's funny, but I'm filming another video right after this one. I'm going to do my niece's makeup. And I'm so excited to do that. So she was like hey will you do my makeup and I was like can I film it she was like absolutely because at first I was like why don't we do like a get ready with me just the two of us because Taylor's been on my channel a few times already and she was like well maybe you could do my makeup for me and I was like absolutely I'll do that for you I love doing it. so I have done my face now I'm going to do my eyes and I'm gonna use a palette that I don't even think I've ever used this for my channel this is the Sweet Talk palette by ColourPop. I, I like this palette a lot. I have already done my foundation. My eyes are all good to go. We're just going to go, we're going to get right into it. It's a really nice, soft pink palette. I have no complaints. Um, I'm going to go in with a Moda Bro brush. This is my Precision Angle. I just like to use this brush. I don't know why I like this brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Catch Me here first and just buff that into my crease. All in all, I'm super proud of myself that I jumped out of an airplane. I always said I'd do it once. I always said I wanted to go skydiving once. And now I did it and I'm like, it's not as hard to jump out of that plane as I thought it would be. Mind you, they pretty much push you out of the plane because you like, I got on my knees and he was like standing behind me because he's strapped to my back and he's holding onto a rail and he's like, and so you go one and then poof and you go and you're, I'm holding on for dear life, but I'm like, like you're in free fall and it's like. Proud, proud of myself. There's no mirror here. I'm going to use this one. And it's Sunday and my nieces are here and they're staying over again, which is really nice. They came over last night for a sleepover and I was like, yeah, you guys should just stay again. Because I'm not planning on doing anything tomorrow either. Except filming YouTube videos because I've kind of 
had like an epiphany of the way that my YouTube channel is going and the way that it's going to continue going. And it is that if I have, I just want to have the energy to make a video. That's all I want. I don't want to have like any crazy goals. My next goal is to reach a thousand subscribers, but baby steps because I, I feel like I keep saying, oh, my goal is to do this and then I don't do it because my goal should be smaller than what it was. Like I need to just work on me and make sure that I am good to film my vid videos because if I'm not filming on my videos regularly, it's probably there's a reason for it. Like I don't have the mindset to sit down and do what I need to do. So I do other things. And that's sort of where everything's going. Like right now I'm doing a lot of get ready with me's and I'm doing my project pan updates and I'm super excited about those. So sorry if that was rambling and it made no sense. Next shade I am going to go in with is, uh, mm, mm, I don't know. I'm going pink today. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go in with dream maker. Just it's the next darkest shade. Oh, that is that is pigmented. That is gorgeous. On the brush, let's just see. I don't even know if I've ever reused this shade. That's way brighter than I thought it would be. So I'm just going to just do this. I really, really do like this palette. Um, it is a, one of the, my favorites from ColourPop that I have in my collection. And I'm thinking about filming a ranking my ColourPop eyeshadows. So what do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments below. Is that something you'd be interested in watching? Um, I do have, I think I have around 10. Maybe less. I just feel that this eyeshadow palette, honestly, I think this one might be my favorite. Like it just, the way that these shadows blend are just different. I go in with this one. I'm just using the same brush too. I like to do my makeup and only have to use one eyeshadow brush. If I can get away with it, I will 100% just do that. And the shape of this brush just lets me achieve that because if you can see now, I'm only gonna, take it and I'm not going in up higher than the crease but I'm just taking it right on the outer corner and I'm just gonna take the edge of the brush and just blend it very lightly I hope that that makes sense how I'm doing this and it just deepens it a little bit and now I'm gonna go in with the shade feel free or feel free this this one right here and I'm just gonna do the same thing and I'm just going to build the color just a little tiny bit in the corner. I love this palette. It's so pretty. Very soft. Very flowery. And just to top it off, I'm gonna just go in with the highlight that I used. I'm just gonna put that as a shimmer shade all over my lid. I've been just really, it's like a beautiful, like icy, like that's like a swatch of this highlight. I love Wet n Wild highlights. They are really, really nice. This is the one in Blossom Glow. I think I like this one the best. And I'm just gonna, oh, that is so pretty. Nothing crazy. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I just want a nice, soft eyeshadow look today. Oh, hello, Miss Kitty. Hey, baby kitty cat. Come here. Come here. Hi. Oh, she has been so nice lately. She's not the nicest cat sometimes. Well, she it wasn't always. She's she's moody. She, I, I find that a lot of female cats are very moody. Um, it's just my experience, but the older she gets, the nicer she is more like when she was a kitten. My baby, my baby girl. She doesn't like when you touch her toes. Like this is like, oh, you're very nice right now though. Okay, now I have to go get all the other products that I forgot. She's like, no, I've had enough of you. 
All right, so for brows, I am going to just use this Tristique mini brow pencil. I've only used this like once, so I'm just gonna, we're just gonna see what happens. Not bad, not bad. It's uh, very light, which is good, because then you can just keep using, like you can go over and just make those natural brush strokes build up a little bit. Not bad. Do the same thing on the other side. I've had this for so long and like didn't even realize it was a brow pencil because it came in an eye kit. So it came with two eyeshadows and this and they're like cream eyeshadows and I really don't use cream eyeshadow very often so except for my AOA studio ones cream to like powder ones those ones are those ones are different it doesn't have a spoolie so that's the only disappointment but I can live like it's okay because the next product has a spoolie which is my benefit this is the brow setter sorry Clear brow gel, we're just gonna toss that right on there. This stuff is friggin' amazing. Like, friggin' amazing. I got it in an Ipsy and I can't stop using it now. I'm like, oh, where have you been all my life? Why did I not have you before? My brows last so much friggin' longer when you use something like this. And I'm like, well, I'm dumb just how I feel for mask I'm gonna use my setting spray before I go in with the mascara this is my Gerard Cosmetics the slay all day setting spray oh my gosh okay I want to get all of their setting sprays so that I can rank them because they're so good they oh, this one is the cucumber I'm being really responsible though I wanted to buy more of these when they were on sale um, but I didn't because I was I'm just being responsible and my makeup looks so good after I use this setting spray. I'm sorry, it's like all over me and I don't care. I love this one. I have the watermelon one. I have the dream school one as well. The watermelon one's really nice, but the cucumber is just like to die for, in my opinion. I do know people, I have seen a couple videos lately. Oh, sorry, I'm like, I have seen a couple videos lately where um, a lot of people are rave about the coconut one. I just take like to take my sponge after and just dab it all in helps everything last really really well yeah I've heard the coconut ones really well really nice as well so that will be the next one that I buy but I have probably eight to nine different setting sprays at least there might be more so I cannot justify buying anymore right now I just have to keep using what I'm using so this one will probably be used up within the next little while it's a cucumber one it's freaking delicious smelling I love it so much I love this setting spray so much. One day I was like to my sister, I'm like, oh, I'm going to give you a setting spray. And she picked this one up. I was like, no. And she was like, that was weird. I'm like, I know. My response was very like, I was like very protective of that freaking setting spray. All right. For mascara, I'm going to go with my Lash Princess by Essence. This is the purple one. That's how I tell the difference between the green and the purple. The color. This is the Sculpted Volume one. It's really nice. It can get kind of clumpy, so I really, you really do kind of want to wipe the brush off, to be honest. That's how I like to do it. But it does give your, what, you'll just, you know what, I'm going to stop talking and just apply the makeup and see and show you what I mean. These Essence mascaras, honestly, so nice. For four ninety nine, for yeah. They like, they just, they dispense a lot of product onto your lashes very quickly. That is how I would describe an essence mascara. But that's that's what you want. Like you don't want to have to go in with fifteen coats on a mascara, especially when you pay under five dollars for it. That makes it even better. We are mascaraed up now. 
I'm gonna lips mix some lip products now because I kind of want to use both of these because they are like the two lipsticks in my collection that I literally never use. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Trendsetter, and this is the Becca Beauty Lipstick in the shade dune so this is a very nice peachy nude it is a weird undertone for my skin like i'll show you right now i'll put it on it's not terrible but it's almost like too orange or like just a little bit too light for me but i do like to pair it with this so that's what i like to do back a lipstick do 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 and then i like to do this a little I like to really wipe this off because this is dark and just what just like that it's a it makes them both just a little bit more wearable for me if I mix them together and I really like that it's just a nice like honestly I'm not complaining and last but definitely not least, I'm going to use a lip topper. This is by Appeal. This is the Holographic Lip Gloss. I've been working on this for a while now and I really want to finish it up. It's one of those lip, lip glosses that I actually have been making a pretty big dent in lately. So we're just gonna top that on, give it a little, juice it up a little. Just like that. And we are ready to rock and roll. So we are ready to go. This is today's final look. Let me know how you guys are, let me know what you guys think of today's look. Do you like any of these products? And have you ever been skydiving? And did you kind of like this story time? It was a little different for me, but I really, I was, I'm just so excited that I was able to do that and then I'm able to share it with you guys as well. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. It's just so refreshing. I didn't even like do my hair. I guess at the very end I'll like I'll fix it up for the for the final look. I didn't do brows. I didn't even grab anything to do brows. What an idiot.